Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today's list, uh, this was given to me by uh, Shadow Play Red, uh, founder of Team Leviathan Gaming. Definitely uh, appreciate you, brother, for all you do. Um, but we'll go through the cards. It's a swarm list with the uh, the Reverend here. Uh, so Zoltan, you want to try to stack on ranged if you got this in hand. Renew, a really good renew target. Zoltan, of course. You can also consider uh, Grand Inquisitor Helvid or one of the brothers. Um, Ziggy, just to hit the nine, especially if you got Helvid in hand and you can start spawning a bunch of guys. If you have that with Sacred Flame, it's going to be uh, real rough for your opponent. Um, MK, just a nice engine to get some coins. Um, your opponent's going to try to remove this because getting two a turn is huge. More least, just a nice way to kill up a kill a blue, a big blue, a big unit. <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking of blue stuff. Um, really great card. I love them. Uh, the Brissotti brothers are in here as well. They're auto include. If you're playing Syndicate, one bone talisman, uh, you're going to have the whole board filled up. So this is usually going to be around like a ten or eleven. Eavesdrop just to correct your hand since you do have sewer raiders. Swindle, there's two of them. You want to have um, money in the bank for your health feed. Um, the uh, the uh, Swindle, another good play that you just play it and you don't have any have to worry about anything. Uh, your opponent hitting anything. Sue Raider's just a thin back alley alchemist. Um, probably your mulligan fodder. Um, beggars are just nice and around. You don't think you're going to win. Fence is really great if you get the decent coin count and you can maybe even bump it up with tactical advantage. And then the Eternal Fire Priest, if you can get these down, probably use your leader ability a couple of times to get them out of uh, you know, that four damage range. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the list. Here's a game, guys. I'll see you at the end. Here we go. What do we get? The audio is a little wacky too. Um, I don't think we need two swindles. That seems crazy. Renew is pretty good. Resultan. I think we get some profit off the ground. Alright, this works. It's the good Aridin too. So I think we just swindle first. Roll a five, not too bad. First, I think we thin the raiders. Ah, long ships are over races. He's profit four, so that brings us to nine. Bridge troll. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, you! Have you made your offering? That's fine. I think we go beggar. Fight your life, Mr. Crown! And then we go Zoltan. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, I can use a face. 42. I think that's going to get the pass. We're passing. I mean, I don't know what he's doing, but we're passing. <laughs> I mean, he can get a Death Wish, maybe, and a Catacan proc, but... Ziggy, MK. I think we drop one of these. We keep this, it's a spender. So is this, though. Do we think we get 2 0? So we're stacking on melee here. Oh, ranged. Yeah, we can still stack on melee. Maybe we don't want to go up against that. But he hasn't used any of his leader charges. I think we pass. That could just kill so many things of ours. And if he plays like a Cyclops, Still carry over three. Alright. So we drop the beggar. And one fence. Okay. It's a grow list. We can kill those next turn. Let's play the priest. And two of these, just to get it out of range. Remove his cow and his ears! Next, we play the flame. So we play the other no, we kill those Neckers first. We go melee. We've all made it to our next boot, so stand on our conscience. And he's gonna wanna kill that. So then we can play our priest. Cool. So this lives. Play this. Idle hands are evil's playthings. 
Now the question is, do we play the Sacred Flame on range? I think we do. Now that that died. Well, yeah. You are worthy neither of mercy nor forgiveness. Can we get another one? Yes, you! Have you made your offering? I think next we play our fence. And I think we just take the vitality. It might be worth it more to... That's fine. Um... So he's gonna kill it too. Yeah, I think we play the brother. My auction house. The meeting spot for the local elite. We buff up a couple of these. Then we play our fence. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we got seven, eight. The question is, what is he using his leader ability on? Ice giant. So he wants dominance. Just hit it, just in case. Love to hear from it. It's not that it helps. Oh, this is ranged. Shoot. I'll just have to play. Uh... So he wants that dominance. Do we renew? Is it more? 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. We'll get to spawn 3. So that's... It's going to bump up our guy too. And it's going to give us a better thing. So I think we play it. He venerates not the fire! You are worthy neither of mercy nor forgiveness! Alright. Next we just play the fence. It's gonna be close. We don't get anything off the Sea Jackal, but if he doesn't kill any units, we got a huge Bone Palace. Okay. So his last card... His last card is Osril. Okay. It's not enough. Three. Cool deck. 
really cool deck. I'll take it. <laughs> hey, but that's the video for today, guys. Like always, thank you for watching. Thank you, Shadow, for the list. I appreciate you, brother, and all the all the hard work you do behind the scenes that a lot of people don't see. So, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time.